Uh, Martin, why don't you come on down just for a minute? Uh, we had Martin on yesterday. Thank you, Joseph, and thank you, CryptoHWWallet.com. Everyone can check it out. And uh, Martin's a big fan of these, actually. We gave him, you've seen that uh, disaster of a treasure with a scrape on it. We gave Martin a leather case yesterday. His treasure looks so much nicer now. He was showing it to everybody at the conference. Really, like, sometimes you give somebody something, they just throw it in their bag. But Martin was a big fan of it. I'm Martin's still a big fan. I'm still a big fan. I'm still go. a big fan. <laughs> it really, my treasure has been beat up for years. Actually, they don't die that easily. But now it has, you know, it didn't look like I had my pension on the Trezor, but now it literally looks like a manager, manager's Trezor. Nice, fine leather finish. Just like the oh, really really Trezor looks like it's got a screen in there and everything. Push the buttons, it's got little uh, dimples for the buttons. Really you can push the well buttons. worth the investment. It's only like $30 or something. Yeah, $29.99. $29. It's not even $30. And it's the diff you can make it a little bit more unique, you know, just like be unique. Get yourself one. So Martin's from uh, General Bytes. They make the ATMs that we have here at Paralyns and Polis. They have a huge screen and a neon light around them. You'll see them instantly if you go into a shop looking for a Bitcoin ATM. These things stand right out. We love neon. And I think it's, um, yeah, I think, you know, ATMs always look boring. So we thought, you know, just we add some neon to it, you know. And Martin's also uh, responsible. He's working with my cryptographically owned proven bag yes. that I picked up earlier today. I wanted to support Martin and his work. So. Yeah, oh, thank you. you can, uh, it's uh, Marilyn, she, she made the bags. Uh, but you know, the thing was, um, everything like, like get copied. So um, we authenticate the bags on the blockchain. So this way, every one of them, you can verify on the blockchain whether they are unique. It's still in development, uh, it's, but the idea is that instead of using blockchain as money, mm -hmm. because you know we all, all, all use blockchain as a sort of key, Pay, Bitcoin is payment. Sure. Uh, we need more more applications because we cannot we can't we can't expect you know all those cryptocurrencies to like moon without having new applications. So we constantly keep developing new applications. Yeah, yeah. So it's not so much ownership like I was saying earlier. I got one. It's okay. more about um, verification of non uh, not being a fake. It's not a fake bag. This bag is authentically made by Maryland has the Bitcoin, Litecoin, and diamond-shaped logos. And Ethereum. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> I've, I've heard about it. Yeah. We'll see. Good luck with that one, guys. Yeah, to the, to the earth or whatever you say. That's um, funny. <laughs> but we also have Martin back on the show. Theo talked to him yesterday a little bit about the ATMs and some of Martin's other projects. But I just want to let you guys know, in November of 2014, I was wearing my Mad Bitcoins hat and my goggles. I went on the air and I talked about this guy who had a Bitcoin chip implanted under his skin. And I was a little critical of it. I just said, uh -huh. because I was so worried that he's going to get an infection or something. And he'd be the first one and the last one with a Bitcoin chip implant. So Martin, why don't you tell us about your Bitcoin chip implant? And well, what do you know, the idea is I had this friend, Amal Grafstra, he's, he's got this website, dangerousthings.com. And he, he's like a biohacker. And um, before he, he, he created the implants, uh, you know, he, he created like magnets. Uh, if, you, if you implant a magnet and you implant it on your nerve endings, then you would like to become the, the real Magneto, like X-Men, you know? <laughs> so you can like, you can but feel- it's great power and great responsibility and I'm still terrified. Well, it's your I, body. I don't even like it when they take my blood. It's so. your own body, so, I, you know, for me it's my own body, so I feel I can do with it whatever I want, uh, you know? And if, if, you know, if the ethical thing, some people might not like it, but um, I was running a Bitcoin ATM network at the time, and actually I was storing many Bitcoins for third parties because uh, some of the miners, they would adopt a ATM, they would fill it with Bitcoin, I would take my commission and they would get the money out. But it was my responsibility to keep the Bitcoin safe. So how am I gonna keep the Bitcoin safe? And I've, at first, I would print out these paper wallets, you know, with the QR codes, mm -hmm. and I'd bring them to the bank, like a safety deposit box. Sure. But, you know, where we're going, one. Thomas, we don't need no banks. I mean, yeah. banks are so, so <laughs> like, yesterday's technology. So we needed, like, a different way to store the crypto. And I thought, you know, like, okay, I can keep them at home, and I can keep them in the wallet, uh, paper wallet. But, you know, if I get burglars or stuff, it's not safe. So I thought, you know, if I have a place... A, a friend can... of mine used to keep all of his journals in a safe, which was really great until one day he was chasing a guy down the street about his safe and he was screaming, all you have is my journals. There's nothing of value in there. And now my friend doesn't have his journals anymore. It's sad. See? 
That's so. I thought, you know, keeping the Bitcoin safe, I would be like, you know, in a, in a, in a chip implant. And some people found it a bit extreme. Others thought, you know, I was the devil itself. Um, and this is not a joke, people. He has a chip. I mean, if you, if you see Martin around, he'll wiggle the chip at you. He loves to like, do it. You know, he's got one here and one here. This one is for Litecoin and the other one is for Bitcoin. And I, I count the precious every day in the morning. So, you know, when I got the chip implant, my colleagues at, at General Bytes said, we had a few beers because with a few beers you get the best ideas, is my opinion. You know, all the sure. great ideas come after a few beers. Yeah. So this Martin, if you would like if you'd like be able to wave your hands at the ATM and get some cash out, wouldn't that be cool? I said, Hell yeah, just make it work. And so two weeks later they had like a prototype and with the NFC thing and it, it did work. And I was surprised. So um, yeah, and the only thing was that okay, we can add NFC technology to the ATMs, but nobody else had the chip implants at the time. At the time. At the time. Um, so we, we need, and, and people found it a bit freaky. Some of the people just don't like it. I understand that, you know, not the piercings are not for everyone. Sure. Tattoos, sure. but I don't have any piercings or anything or ink, you know. And so I thought, you know, chip implant is the thing for me. So. Um, and, and you've been saying it over again. Good enough for the cat, good enough for me. Yeah, You've been cracking cat. me up. Mark. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, Thomas, that's the thing. My cat had a, a chip for 18 years, sure. and the only thing it complained about was food. So, <laughs> never <laughs> about the chip. So no, never thought, mentioned, yeah. And it, it, I even I'm, read the cat's diary, no problems. No, 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 the, the, you know, the, Amal said, you know, uh, from Danger Things, uh, not designed to be implanted into <laughs> humans. I think his lawyer made him say that. Yeah, but, of course. Uh, so I got, got the chip implanted on a huge, huge syringe. Uh, oh so God. I went to my home doctor and I said, you have to put the chip inside. And he just started laughing in my face. I said, why? <laughs> uh, why are you laughing in my face? I'm the client here. You have to do this. I pay for the consult. Yeah. <laughs> I said, no, you get it wrong. I'm a doctor. I fix you up when yeah. I'm sick. Sure. Uh, when you're sick, but you're not sick. so." get out of my office. <laughs> uh, so I was a bit well, angry with him. Um, uh, so I said, I'll go to a vet or somebody else because I knew the vet would do it. <laughs> uh, and then he said, well, you will be back in my office. And that time I will help you, meaning like probably a vet or something. Yes. But no, I didn't. And I, uh, you know, our, our bodies didn't change anything in the past thousands of years. Mm -hmm. While the world around us did change quite dramatically. Sure. So by making a little bit of a body upgrade, we can be more compatible with modern life. This is yeah, how I see it. That's how so, people are going to sell this whole cypherpunk uh, robot human future to us. Additional compatibility. Upgrade your body. You know, it's about time. So. Um, once we got it running on the ATMs, that was like cool, but there was like nobody that would like use the NFC feature. So we were like a bit stuck there. Yeah. So we created like an option that it would dispense cards. So because bank cards, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're familiar, everybody's familiar with the, you know, the, the bank cards. Yeah. And it, it's not difficult to grasp. People know that if you have one of those cards, you have to be, you know, careful with him. Sure, so sure. It, and um, and the, the implants freaked people out, but the exact same technology we used to like, just put in a card. Do, do you ever get picked up when it gets scanned through airports? Ah, no, that's the thing. If you like, uh, sometimes I read that in the newspaper, uh, a Colombian lady arrested in Schiphol Airport with uh, 50,000 euros up her, you know, not, well, private parts. And I think uh, sometimes they think that's so, so old school, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. And uh, uh, so you just, you know, get one of the chip implants and it doesn't show up in any body scanners or anything. Uh, I never have any problems with those, you know, standstill and, and body scanners. I, I won't do those machines. I don't, I don't go like this for anybody. I get the <laughs> personal massage. Uh, just they they that, rub yeah. me all over yeah, and I just feel so room. great yeah, yeah. after I go through security, uh, uh, getting my belt yeah, back yeah, and uh, my uh, shoes. You yeah. know, uh, Thomas likes a special rub. Yeah, yeah. It's great <laughs> to have a little massage at the airport. Yeah. So. So it's, uh, so yeah, so, so we added like a sort of cards because it doesn't freak people out, but it's exactly the same technology, yeah. And that's what they have here at the conference. Everyone was given a little card, maybe they load a little Bitcoin or Litecoin on it, and you they have all these uh, payment yeah. machines here. Uh -huh. and, there you and these payment machines accept the little cards, so you just wave your card over it, uh, don't show his private key. We just no, no, give no, all no. of Nin's uh, beer <laughs> money away. <laughs> Can't do that. We have to save that for uh, like, five, ten minutes here. The cards don't contain any any name or name. They contain your private key, and of course you can scan those private keys because the antenna on the cards is quite large. So we give it like nice little uh, okay, 
nice little uh, cardboard case. But if you look inside, it's got this like uh, sort of like metallic finish. Mm -hmm. um, these are like nicely printed with the logo of the conference and the sponsors. So it's kind of like a little Faraday cage, right? Yeah. Correct. Keeping yeah, me exactly. from stealing everyone's card money, which I was talking about earlier. I could configure my phone and just go around wallet, 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 wallet. In Amsterdam, we make them from milk cartons. We are too cheap to actually get to go to the printer, so we just make them from milk cartons. And it's a, it's a, they're, they're like uh, practically uh, free then, you know. So in addition to Bitcoin and Litecoin, you can also open doors, activate security systems, I use like it to that. snooze my alarm clock. That's the most valuable function, I think. <laughs> uh, in combination with Sleep as Android, it's like this app for Android. Uh, you have like a CAPTCHAs to solve when you I want to snooze your alarm. And one of them is Scan NFC chip. So ah. I make my scan, my left and my right chip. And it's a bit of fiddling always. So by the time I got it right, I'm really wide awake. Yeah, and I no never way. slept late since I have the implant. So <laughs> if, you're, if you have trouble waking trouble up Trouble sleeping, get a chip. Get a chip. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet that's just how they thought Big Brother was going to be sold to us. Thomas, I have, to, I have the impression you're not taking me serious at all. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. I've seen the chip. I'm just still not going to get one. Uh, I, had an, I have an Apple Watch. It's not charging lately. I have, I have too many things to charge. Uh, but one of the best things about my Apple Watch is it unlocks my Mac when I'm close enough to it. And that's just such a convenient feature. It really feels like the future. I just go in, oh, you're here, boom, time to work. That's fantastic. And you could do the same thing with your built-in chips. They called Martin Mr. Bitcoin. And I talked about him on the show all the way back in 2014. But I think we're about to end this show. There are no more guests. Tone is long gone with the sex therapist. <laughs> no idea what's oh, happening outside this room. <laughs> Maybe some kind of polyamory or polygamy or some kind of thing. Whatever but, floats uh, your boat, Thomas. Hey, Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> fine with me. Fine with me. But I think we're going to sign off here from the Hacker Congress at Paralinizy Polis. I don't know how many hours of content we've done today, but this is the third day of live streaming, of videos, of presentations. And I think it's time for dinner. I don't know if Tone's going to try to come back later, but I think we're going to try to wrap up the room here, put everything back. Thanks again to our sponsor, Crypto HW1. I lost my microphone again, but I talk pretty loud. You can get your leather, get leather cases, your treasures, keep key, ledgers, all these things. They shook the camera. They're so excited. Thank you, audience, for noting. I saw it happen. But <laughs> that's about it. And uh, we'll be back. Um, I don't know what time it is. Vortex is going to do a show around noon Pacific time. I don't know where I am or what time it is. But check that out right here on the World Crypto Network. Give us a thumbs up and a share. Help more people find the show. Subscribe if it's your first time. We do these every day. I'll be back tomorrow with the Today in Bitcoin show. I think Tone will probably be on an airplane. Uh, we'll try to patch him in as usual. Uh, last time he was going to his seat and telling people about the charts and everyone on the airplane got free information about Bitcoin. <laughs> Cashing that in. Oh, it's a nine and a seven and a three. Oh, it's great. So, uh, but that's about it. We'll be back soon. Bye-bye.